Jags that are two and five, and that's the line as well. Jags minus two point five. Jags aren't playing very good football of late, and, and I kind of am curious to see if they'll be able to score any points versus that Broncos defense that has been the one consistent piece. I'd say now they struggle at times against the run, uh, but you know, I'm James Robinson anymore. Not that he was necessarily even the featured back. I, I just think this is going to be a tougher matchup for the Jags, who are laying two and a half here, and, and a site that it's a neutral site. Let's be real. All right, I don't know how many. People over in London are really rooting for the Jacksonville Jaguars as a home base for them. Look, I'm taking the two and a half points in the Broncos. At some point, too, we just said this about Tom Brady. Russell Wilson in this offense is going to get going. I don't know if this is the game or not, but I think they've got a shot. Russell Wilson's back, says his hamstring's fine. He's got Wolverine blood or whatever, and he's going high knees when he's in the aisle, apparently on the flight over while everyone else is sleeping. Whatever the case may be, I'm taking the Broncos. I'm taking the two and a half points. I would say this. I do like the under. They're nine here. I like the under in this game. Low scoring game. Broncos cover. Here, I'm going to do this. That's, you know what that is? That's all his teammates watching the idiot go up and down the aisle and do his well, high he was knees. Sleep. They were sleeping. They weren't they sleeping. Were sleeping. No, the skies were up. Give me a break. Is that, there enough room to do high knees on an aisle on a plane? ridiculous. The whole thing is ridiculous. It's all for show. What, if you're a teammate of his and you see him doing that, you look over, you go, what an idiot. It, it's being an idiot. Come on. <laughs> I'm just. I'm wondering if there was like some butt kicks involved. Were, were there some other calisthenics, or just high knees? Give it a little trip as he goes down the aisle, and you play the other guy. <laughs> no, I mean seriously. You don't think that's cornball? That's corny. It's. There's been a lot of corny. Yeah. Lately. Yes. Wolverine blood, all that. Yeah, I, I just don't get it. But I think Jacksonville will find a way to win the game. Uh, Denver went over. on the Jacksonville bandwagon. Well, it's not maybe, out if, for you. maybe if Doug I've Peterson. I've crept back into this. Maybe if Doug Peterson in on Jacksonville. Maybe if Doug Peterson would kick a field goal up for. So to go up seven late in the game, they would have won the game. They, he did. Now you're questioning the head coach. Well, of the first time he's done that with the Jacksonville Jaguars no, head coach. I question a lot of head coaches. He questions a lot of Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> head coaches. I, yeah, well, I know. I know one. I question a lot. That more on that was there before. Uh, I will. I will take Jacksonville minus the points. I'm going with the Broncos on the high knees. And, and Brady, you that said take the under, right? Oh yeah. Under 39. Look at those. I might get up. And we're we're, we're both on the same side on that. By the way, Pete wanted. Oh. Both on We're the both under. on the under. I might go do high knees behind us while you're doing your next segment. <laughs> uh, both on the under 39, but they're on opposite sides uh, on, the, on the teams. In- do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.